My name is Raps and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, where we are currently doing things in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, I'm pretty sure in order to unlock the final challenge, in fact I am certain in order to unlock the final challenge, that I need to unlock Loki's horns. And I unlock Loki's ho horns by defeating Loki, or I think it actually might be Loki, which is the Loki with two Lokis. The version of Loki that is two halves of Loki, I guess, is what I was trying to say there. Okay, so I bomb these so that I can check for the quarter in the pots while also checking for money in the pots and secret rooms on the sides. At worst, I get a bomb for a bomb, so super easy to do that. Little Brimstone is huge damage output, especially in the early floors, so no reason not to take him. Easy. I'm taking some very stupid damage here, but really all it's going to amount to is one less play of the uh, self-sacrifice room for me. Mm -hmm. Famine is probably... Ooh. This could be interesting if Famine gives me a cube of meat and I get uh, a book of revelation soon and then I go for a bunch of cubes of meat. Get the fourth or third level meat boy, that'd be pretty cool. Excellent. So take that. That. It's, uh, at worst, a pretty good orbital, so no reason to turn it down. For some reason, that's not the secret room. That's definitely where I would have thought it would be. Bang. Excellent. Already got it. So free key there. Getting free key. You're right, that was a horrible pun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to do it, though. Didn't even have to use a reroll this first floor. And we've got a spirit heart going down to the next floor. That is excellent. That is the position I like to be in. Also got a key to open this shop in here. Shop, sorry, the uh, item room. So I'd like to come across that as soon as possible. Maybe I end up getting two rerolls this floor. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, fuck you. I hate this room so much. I have complained about this room ad nauseum before because it is fucking horrible to have to be in. And it's five bombs. It's fine. God damn it. So now I'm probably going to end up taking red heart damage this floor and miss out on my deal with the devil. Just because that room hit me twice. Oh, I hate that room so much. So much. Yes, it can be maneuvered around. Yes, I'm being a little bit of a bitch um, in that I keep complaining about it, but apparently it's fine. Uh, really, though, it's annoying. It's really annoying. I don't want to have to deal with it. Okay. Come on, I just want to kill those mullabooms in the background. So that I don't have to worry about them. Whoa. While I'm worrying about Monstro. This, okay. I'm officially throwing if I manage to take red heart damage here. Excellent. That's a speed upgrade. So I might re-roll that if I don't want to re-roll what's in here. Uh, a third of the way to becoming Guppy. Yeah, it'll allow me to re-roll the speed upgrade. So that's good. It's a health upgrade. Um, I will search for the secret room at least. Uh, yeah, it should be here. Huh? That's surprising. Fuck! God damn it! That was one of the positions where- Oh god, and that was just bad positioning by me. Come on, I'll just follow you the whole way through. There we go. Excellent. You forge the path, I'll just walk through in your footsteps. I'm fine with that. Yeah, this is the type of thing that I was uh, continuing to look through the map for. Ooh, okay. Let's show some stuff. Push the stone chest over here and blow it up so I can get both at the same time. Bang. Tammy's head is pretty cool, but uh, I haven't got brimstone yet, so it's not cool enough for me to want to take. I will blow that up, though. Thank you. Yeah, a bomb for a key... Sorry, a bomb for a cent and two bombs. Okay. Ah, that's fine. 
You know what I think I'm gonna do? I might regret this. Uh-huh. Hit me again. One more time. Lovely. Now I'm gonna go to the boss trap room. Ooh, please have keys. Oh, no, no keys. Uh-oh. Alright, almost took lethal damage there. That's fine. As long as I didn't. So I want a key to drop after this because I really want to be able to open both up. What I'm really looking for here is uh, Cricket's head. But I guess Guppy's tail or uh, Guppy's head would be pretty good as well. Alright, fuck you too, game. That actually just straight up cost me a key instead of giving me any benefit, which I was kind of hoping on. Ow. Oh, damn it. I hate this so much. Please, game, have mercy. One, two. Okay, I will chest. I will check these two locations. For the super secret room, managed to get it very luckily on my first try, and I'll take a black heart very happily down to the next floor. Mostly, we're just looking for Loki. That's it. Loki, 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 Loki. Give me that Loki. Fuck you. Oh my god. We are being haunted by golden chests that are unopenable at the moment. If I got the master of unlocking this floor, I'd be super happy about that. Master of unlocking being a trinket that allows you to open golden chests without paying the price of them. Just in case I, uh... Uh, no, I'm not going to have an arcade, but just in case I have a temperance machine suddenly around, I'm not going to waste half a red heart picking up a full red heart when I only have half a red heart missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Did you see what I saw? Internal heart over there. My priestess, that's going to be the easiest boss kill of my life. Um, I'm not going to go into the cursed room just yet. I want this black heart to guarantee that uh, my boss fight is going to go down smoothly, so I might have, perchance, the ability to pick up a deal with the devil. It's unlikely, because I did have a deal with the devil last floor, but it uh, could happen. Yeah, I'd prefer to re-roll that. I am glad I re-rolled that. Ooh, yes. X-ray vision, I quite like. Basically, across the entire course of a game, x-ray vision is like a bunch of extra keys, bombs, sometimes items, and uh, money as well. I'm so glad that Peep wasn't jumping away then. And easiest Peep fight of my life. I hate Peep so much, so to be able to clear him that quickly. All of our stats are pretty low, so I'll take the experimental treatment. I'm not happy about it, though. So I got more damage. I got a lower rate of fire, apparently. That doesn't seem lower. I've also got lower health. I'm fine with that. Not particularly pleased, but fine with it. It is acceptable. It's okay. Hey, second part of Guppy. That's real good. Uh, I would love to re-roll that, but I just do not have enough battle rooms in here to do it. So, Guppy. One more piece to become the Gupster. Okay. And there's nothing really else I can do on this floor. I mean, collect red hearts, but that's about it. Uh, actually... Whoa, I just realized I should have a second super secret room. There we go. Oh, lovely. I really wish I had one of the shop items replenishing my uh, my spacebar charges. Habit would be really nice. Um, nine volt battery. Sharp plug I'd even uh, have a bit of a roll with. Never particularly use that to any great advantage. Maybe this is the first time I get to do that. But our uh, keys and our money are a little... Uh... <clears throat> well, they aren't in the grandest position, to say that much. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of Envy, but luckily we have some penetrative shots by way of Little Brimstone. 
So he shouldn't be too much of a dick. My damage is apparently real high now. For only having one damage up in the small rock. And experimental treatment, but I'm just saying. like, It's real high for that consideration. Love to go to the shop at this point, so we'll bomb that. See if I can get a key. Come on, and yeah. I'll actually probably go to the sh shop first. Please give me another key for finishing this room. I'd like to be able to... Oh my god, thank you. Uh-huh. I actually have to re-roll that bean. So I can't save my re-roll for the shop as though I wanted to. Oh, wait. I accidentally just wasted a charge on the re-roll. But I did find the shop, so maybe I find something in the shop that I want to re-roll first. I don't know. Um, look, the map is actually a good item. I will take that, actually. Challenge up just means that we're going to get more champion enemies, which have the chance of dropping consumables. Art. Pick this back up. Roll. I don't want how to jump. So instead, I'm also going to go back here. Purchase the battery, and re-roll it once more. I also want to see if I can get 200 cents in that uh, donation machine over there. <sighs> Thunder thighs. So we can crush rocks and uh, stuff like that. That's it's, it's a pretty good item. I don't know if I would re-roll it again. It's also, I believe, two health up. Hmm... I don't think I will re-roll it again. I'll just leave it there for the moment, though. Okay, put a bomb there. Wait, I have x-ray specs. I don't need to put bombs in positions like that. Wait. Okay, that almost didn't work, but then it surprisingly did. Emperor, strength... Okay, I'll use strength. So this is the version of Gertie that can do nothing but summon enemies. So really, all we need to do is keep the... Uh, Keep the crowd under control by using crowd control. And we'll be fine. Just got a little bit of extra damage in there with the cube of meat. Let's see what we get. Latch key, I love it. I'm a huge fan of lock up, and my keys have been pretty problematic so far. Please give me the lump of coal, because I don't want to throw away my... Uh, do not want to throw away this D6. So I will actually just leave Krampus' head here. Lump of coal, lovely. Tears up as well, dear god, someone up there likes me. Okay, um, I'm still holding on to my money. For whether or not I want to actually pick up that map. It's almost certain that I do, but for the moment, I'll just hold on to it. There's no reason to do it right now, I mean, I'm gonna full clear this floor anyway. And there is not likely to be a room that I walk into that I'm like, fuck, man, I wish I had the map so I didn't walk in this room. If anything, that would have been ages ago when we put uh, Envy on this floor. You know what? I'm going to re-roll the map. Just because I think the map being re-rolled will give me more re-roll opportunities by becoming, say, Battery, Nun's Habit, 9 Volt, Sharp Plug, etc., That's harsh. So that's the fanny pack. It's filled with goodies. Uh, drop a random consumable. I believe it's certain to drop a random consumable. But you drop a random consumable on hit. I'm not a huge fan of being hit, personally. So, uh... Might not exactly work out for me, that. I think I might start opening some more of these. Fucking hell. Oh, God, do I ever wish that I came here, picked that, and then re-rolled it. I'll gamble down to 20 cents, because I will buy the fanny pack. And I want to have at least 5 cents going into the next floor. I actually will blow this up as well. I want to have at least 5 cents going into the next floor. So that I have the capability to pick up an arcade. And then make use of the fanny pack by taking a bunch of damage in the arcade. 
So Krampus gave us coal. You know what? We're in a pretty good position. I should stop complaining. Not that I've started complaining, but I want to complain. So, you know, bring out the manager, basically. <clears throat> My speed is just one of the huge concerns that I was having about picking this up. And now I know that I shouldn't have re-rolled the previous uh, speed down. Oh, wait, this is a tears up. I should take that. Damn. Let's check our stats. It's okay. I just want speed now. That's it. Speed will do me. Give me that speed. Uh, there can't be a crawl space in here, so I'm not going to check those rocks. Curse of the unknown. That means I don't know my health, right? Hmm. Okay. There are a bunch of rooms that are way more dangerous on low speed, and so I'm hoping that I don't encounter too many of those. That, that last one was a little bit of a taste of something similar to that, but uh, it wasn't super dangerous. Balls of steel? Oh, baby, a double spirit heart. Okay. Yeah, one of them had to be bad. <laughs> Health down isn't particularly bad, though. I mean, it's bad, but not that bad, so I don't really mind. Uh, I'm not certain that I'm going to go in there yet. Good god damn, if we could have a few less of those uh, statues what suck you, I'd be far happier. Ow, that, ooh, I even said ow preemptively, I was certain I was going to be hit there. Greed head, come on. Perfect. Excellent. It has gracefully exited my world. I'm glad to see some skulls. I'm hoping to see a lot of them because I have got the ability to indiscriminately crush all of them beneath my feet. And if they're hosts, I can just walk away. I don't have to give a fuck. Two of hearts. All right. Uh, Scorpio, poison tears. I mean, it increases our damage a little bit. I'm just not thrilled to have it. I guess is the way that I would explain my feelings here. It's not amazing. I may re-roll it. I reserve the right to re-roll that. Like, why would I hold a reroll for the boss room if I'm unlikely? Not not certain not to, but unlikely to get a uh, deal with the devil. Ooh. Okay. Have we found our shop? We have. You know what? We found our shop. And with, uh, with seven bombs, we could take what we want from it. We could double re-roll before we make our pickup as well. I'm feeling like the shop is the way that I want to go with this. We might have to bomb the shit out of our arcade. Damn it. That was unfortunate. Uh, we might have to bomb the absolute ever-loving fuck out of our... Uh... There we go. Ooh. Lovely. Out of our donation machine, but uh, you know, sometimes sacrifices need to be made. God damn it. Really wish I knew what my health was at this point, because I'm starting to feel very shaky about it. Unfortunately, we can have super greed on next floor as well, and then we just won't ever have re rolls. Since we have a free re roll, however, sitting in the. Uh, sitting in the secret room, I will re roll. Have two coming down. Okay, I think I'm actually safe to do this as well. This is just in case I get guppy. Well, it's still pretty good. Waste one spirit heart getting uh, two. It's fine. It's fine. Mathematically sound, some would even say. Okay. I'm really not digging this speed. The fact that I can't pick up that red heart means that I definitely haven't taken red heart damage this floor, which makes me very happy. 
That's speed and range. I actually have to take it because I need the speed. We have a speed upgrade and we're still this slow. Yeah, that's how you know there was a problem. Damn it. Okay. How many spirit hearts can I be guaranteed that I still have? I think I have at least one full spirit heart left. I'm basically just going to be leaving this floor as soon as I can, though, so I should be fine. Damn it, I didn't want to create any hosts, but I also didn't really have room to fight these guys. Okay, host. Perfect. Joker? Two of hearts, come on, that's the second time I've got a two of hearts from one of these fools. Take the Emperor with me, because it's actually useful sometimes, whereas the Two of Hearts is almost never useful. Unless you have an, an absurd, an absolutely inordinate amount of uh, Red Hearts, which is never a position I want to be in. There it goes. Okay, so that's going to, yeah, clear up our curse for this floor. Well, looks like we actually had a lot more going for us than I thought in terms of Spirit Hearts. Easy. Okay. Let's see if we can fuck the bloat. Let's see if we can fuck the bloat, exactly. I mean, look at that. Look at those eye holes. Don't you just want to get roll up in those? Damn, son. Yep, I figured I was going to get hit there. The only super safe place of the bloat is directly above him. Like up here. That was a really good bloke fight, actually. Oh, man, a mushroom. I'm feeling real, real powerful about this run now. My tears are pretty damn solid. Okay, I've already lost out on uh, boss rush. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm fine to leave. Arcade, lovely. I'll play this, get some triggers out of my fanny pack, and also, it will prove to be a pedestal for me to re-roll. That's actually pretty good. Bam. Um, what is that? It's cancer, right? Hmm. I'll do that after this. Okay, so I need to kill double Loki to unlock Loki's horns. So not this Loki, but the Loki that is uh, bisected. Or bifurcated, I believe, is the correct terminology for that. Second monstro. Whatever, buddy. Give me that Loki. If I could get the other damage multiplier, or one of the other damage multipliers, that would be really, really amazing, and I would probably have enough damage to win the run off the back of that. Emperor, Emperor. Damn, now I want the starter deck. I love double Emperor. I'm not sure I can take that yet. Rainbow baby. I kind of want to reroll that as well. Come on, shop. Have something good for me. Also wouldn't uh, argue about getting a Day Gaz rune, actually, so that I could clear up this map. Not a huge fan of these curses, see? It's the shop, most likely. Could be a library, but unlikely. Okay. Ugh. Alright, I'm going to clear two more rooms, then I'm going to come back. But there's so many good pills in our rotation. I mean, we've got Balls of Steel, we've got... Tears Up. Tears Up is so powerful, though. Oh, uh, can I turn down a Mum's Coin Purse? On this run? Alright, let's see what we've got in our super secret room. We'll have the reroll after finishing this room. Lockdown. 
Full health. Balls of steel. Health down. Paralysis. You know what? That actually makes up my mind. I'm not getting the mom's coin purse. Did you see how many of those were bad? We just got good luck earlier. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, do I have to re-roll it again? I mean, I guess Rainbow Baby and Cancer aren't that bad, but they're also not that good. Alright. Let's look for a, uh... Look for a black market concealed here beneath one of the rocks. If I can find such a thing, I am hoping that it contains within its boundaries. Uh, something along the lines of... A red heart deal for some battery modifying items. And that would be lovely. Everything short of that is. Eh. I mean, I guess I could play Demon Judgment down there as well. That'd be pretty good. Could get some really cool stuff out of a Demon Judgment. Okay, nothing in here. That's two curse of the lost. This should be the last path which we uh, still have not completely traversed. Lovely. Okay, another scent over there. Shit, this is a long path. I've already found all of the secrets. Sorry, secrets. Special rooms. Um, so this can't be too much longer. Because these all have to be dead ends. There's just no more... I mean, there's double lock rooms and Isaac's bedroom and a bunch of other special rooms that could be down this area. But not, like, ones that have to be. Oh, there's also a curse room. I'll go into that. Maybe I pick up Guppy. Okay, well... <clears throat> nine times out of ten, I think you'll find that wasn't Guppy. Black heart, very appreciated, thank you. I'm glad I didn't pick that up before going in because a black heart is actually quite valuable against a bunch of people. I say people, I mean enemies. You need to dehumanize them, otherwise you won't feel good when you kill them. Hmm. Taking my time just to make sure that I don't miss out on any opportunities here. Okay, that's an opportunity. That is an opportunity. I'm going to re-roll the shop twice. Now I just need to know my way back to front, back to back to back to front, to get to the shop and back. I think that's it. Nope. Not taking the broken stopwatch. Half, uh, I don't even know what the stats on it are, but sometimes it uh, slows down the room to half speed. So that's really lovely. And then sometimes it doubles the speed of the room. And then you just get absolutely pooped on. I haven't even seen one battery enhancing item so far. I just want one. All I need is one. So that I can try and re-roll a next devil deal to get Guppy. Oh my god. Oh my lanta. <clears throat> he says with an air of copyright infringement in the air. Alright. There's gotta be another battery, otherwise I'm not gonna get another reroll. Okay, fighting mini boss, I guess that's okay. Man, Lust is pulling out the moves. Come into the corridor. Thank you. I didn't even want the... F I, I would have taken more of those shop items and been happier with them than I am with this uh, current one. Oh, Perth Road Rune. Here we go. This is perfect. What if, in one of these skulls, I find the Perth Road Rune? Oh, that would work. That would work for me. Empress... Lovers, no reason not to use that now. Stars is never going to be useful again. Hangs man. Hey, Galaz, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I tried. Oh, and the blood machine's gone. All right, well, this is pretty good anyway. Cancer, HP up, plus you feel protected. So that's three spirit hearts, and I believe anytime I take damage in a room, then I won't be able to take more than half a heart of damage in that room. 
So it's going to be pretty good against the Isaac and Blue Baby fights. Empress, Stars, Emperor, Hangman. Man. And I'll take the Rainbow Baby and be on my way. Be on my merry way. Well, not super pleased about how any of that went. I tried to force the game to give me what I wanted. And the game was like, mm, how about no, Ryan? How about fuck you? Sassy goddamn game, how dare you? And also, I'm not going to have a reroll going into the boss room. That's unfortunate as well. This too is an unfortunate fact of life. So killing mom is going to be real quick. Boom. Easy. Uh, do I want the negative or the Polaroid? I think on Isaac, I need the Polaroid. Oh God, I hope I'm not wrong about that. You know what? I should have just checked it. Hang on, let me just check. Okay, exit game, new run, Isaac, yes, I need the Polaroid, so that's good. Okay, this, this is pretty good. I'll check out what's in this room. I might bust it open, whatever it is, and then I'll Emperor down to the boss room. Guppy, guppy, guppy? No guppy. Health <laughs> down, no thank you, sir. Okay. Emperor, perfect. Loki, damn it! I've already fought the bloat this game! Come on! Video game, please! I've already fought you! Okay, so if you're wondering how the bloat got charmed there, that was from, uh... The Rainbow Baby mimicking the effects of Ball of Bandages, level 2. Oh, uh, I should have done one more room. Guppy, guppy, guppy! Come on! What did I ever do to you? Uh, I'll take the lockdown just in case I somehow end up with a PhD. Yeah, I think that's fair. So, at this point, I should be able to get down to the chest with my current level of power. But then the chest itself is going to be a bit dubious. Not super dubious, but a little bit dubious. Um, a smidge dubious, I guess is the easiest way to be describing that. I mean, we are pretty powerful. Maybe there is no reason for concern. Um, yeah, I'll take the lovers. I think my chance of getting a PhD is so, so minuscule that I might as well just not even try. And instead, just take something that is, eh, although a tiny benefit, possibly at some point, a tangible benefit. Whereas the other is not. Okay. Not liking the way we're traversing around this map here. Haha, <laughs> easiest. Thank you, little brimstone. Also, I haven't seen a single secret room yet, which makes me think this floor is going to be huge. I mean, it is Utero 2, it's usually quite large, but seriously, not a single secret room yet. Usually, you can also use the secret rooms to traverse through the level a little quicker by taking a shortcut. Yes. Oh. Okay, if we find an item, we'll be able to double reroll that. Which is nice to know. Ouch. Well, I'm taking a lot of very stupid hits here. I'd like to cease that at some point in the future. Okay, and... Is that it? Yes, we managed to get through that without taking an extraordinary amount of damage. Come on. Where are you? You are. Die. Thank you. 
Please have something good. Black Lotus. No, not super green. Wait, no, I can re-roll the quarter. Give me the quarter. I will re-roll that quarter all day, son. Bam. Okay, so I re-rolled it before the room ended so that I had an extra re-roll charge, but then I realized that it doesn't matter because I'm going to pick this up and go back anyway. Come on, Transcendence. Roll over. It's pretty good. It's uh, two red hearts up and a full heal. I don't think it affects any of your stats. In the first game, I think it affected your speed a little bit, but that's about it. Okay. All right, now I'm just going for the boss room. Uh, I could trade a bomb for three bombs there, but uh, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get through this 16, so no reason to min-max it up in that direction at least. Yep, thank you. Thank you. I want to gamble this throughout. I want to get vision runes. I want to get spirit hearts. I want to get re -roll. Oh, shit. High Priestess. All right. I think I'll try and save High Priestess for the Isaac fight. Okay, well, I've just taken uh, one and a half hearts of damage there, so that's, uh, <clears throat> that's not particularly good. You'll see the blue aura around us right now is the aura provided to us, courtesy of Cancer. The pickup, not the trinket. Okay, managed to get through that without taking a hit, which I'm pretty happy about. No way to get directly to the boss room. No way to vision the map. Nothing similar to that. Ow. And I've already taken damage. So I'm not going to get a deal with the devil here. But then again, you can't get a deal with the devil here anyway. Unless you have a, a joker rune. That's it. Not a rune. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a different thing that isn't a rune. It's a card. Okay. Clearing these should prove quite easy. Where are we going to find our next spirit heart? I'm making cursory glances around the room for those spirit hearty little friends. Oh man, that's got to do a full heart of damage. Range up. It's fine by me. No reason to re-roll that because you can't. I'm glad that the AI on those was uh, debugged a little bit, because damn, they could teleport directly on top of you. That was cruel and unusual punishment. Lovely. Oh, double lock room. Would I re-roll my whole run at this point? You know what? I think there are enough items in the game that win the run by themselves that re-rolling my whole run at this point would be a legitimate strategy because I don't have any of those. But also, it might just have infamy sitting in the middle of the room, so... Uh, two re-rolls or pickups on the floor. Pulse Worm. Pulse Worm's actually probably better. It'll just affect the hitbox of my tears. So, if it makes a few more of my tears hit... Basically, that's a damage up. I mean, it's doing damage that I would not have done otherwise. So, it's damage up as far as I'm concerned. I hate these ghosts, but not as much as I hate the haunt. Very glad that in the last two rooms, I've been able to hand their asses to both of those two things. Ow. <clears throat> greed, please. Greed, why? Greed, no. Stop summoning the heads. And lovely. Mm, okay, I will check down here. I mean, I can come back for it. So I'm definitely going to take damage in this fight. Uh, it's just, I think I'll be able to outlast him. Really, it's all about getting down to the next floor in the chest and checking out exactly what's in there. Uh, should be safe. Yep. Okay, hit in a barrage. Should be safe here. 
you really have to look at those patterns pretty, uh, pretty closely to figure out exactly where you're going to be safe. The patterns for these, I mean. The rays of fuck lights from the ceiling. Often the corners tend to be safe. Excellent. Um, I will take the time to go back for that, uh, that heart back here. So my chances of getting guppy from now on are... Nil to Nix to Zit to Zilch to Bubkiss, so... Best give up on those dreams. Which is sad, because Guppy would be super strong. Isaac's Tears has appeared in the basement. Should be Isaac's Tears have appeared in the basement, but whatever, I'm not Nick picking. Just a little bit. Okay. So this would mean that... Uh, this is Pyromaniac. It would mean that bombs do not deal damage to me. Instead, they heal me. Uh, this is a health up. That's the Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls mimics a random space item effect. And the Infestation 2. or sp Yeah, Infestation 2. So every time I kill an enemy, it will spawn a spider. Since I do pretty good damage, that's actually worthwhile. The rest of them are pretty shit. I will pick this up and drop it back down. I don't know if that's the way that this works in this game, but in the first game, that would assure that it doesn't come back up. That's a damage up. Penetrative shots. Excellent. Uh, I might re-roll the other two as well, so... For the moment, this is fine. Lovely. I mean, we're not doing, you know, absolute bonkers amounts of damage, but we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty solidly. I don't think I'd re-roll this run. I don't think I'd turn it down. I wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating. Okay. Most consumable drops we're not going to have to worry about picking up. Um, I guess one of my biggest priorities is damage up at this point. Maybe a really good spacebar item. That would be pretty uh, pretty highly valued as well. I'm not sure what would uh, count as really good though, so... I guess that's the problem there. No real scale. Yep. Black Beam. Anytime we get hit, we will fart, dealing 17 damage immediately. And then, I believe, up to 41 damage when the DOT is counted. So, basically, nothing. Almost worthless. Uh, that's only one item, though. So, we can reroll two at the same time in here. Ba-bam! Both of those. Use items. Eh. Eh. Mom's Bra, I believe, freezes enemies, and Pac-Man makes you invincible and deal contact damage. You can also heal half-hearts while killing enemies in Pac-Man. But, eh. Ooh, left hand. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can perhaps capitalize and perhaps somehow become Guppy here. So the trick to beating the adversary without dying to the uh, brimstone laser that they have is just keep moving. Never stop moving. Of course, I've already taken damage to it twice while fighting them, so uh, who am I to talk? Man, maybe I wanted Lazarus's rag. Shit. Look at all this damage I'm taking. Definitely go back for another reroll, but shit. Alright, let's see if I can kill Gluttony last, because Gluttony will actually drop health. Uh, whereas if I kill Lust last, I think I get... Yep. A pill. Oh, Explosive Diary is fine. God damn it. I am making mistakes, and they may end up costing me the blue baby fight. Still, my tears aren't super powerful. And usually, these, uh, <clears throat> these assorted areas, like the dark room and the chest, are specifically for when you're super, super OP. And that's when you take these on. Okay, Gluttony dies last, and then the drops are going to be hearts. Told ya. Yep, alright, I'm gonna double back. Let's see if we can get something good. These are also good, and I've somehow forgotten to pick them up. <coughs> 
Someone up there hates me. So, that is the poop. Poop every room, shoot the poop. And uh, the other one is my reflection, which causes your tears to go to about half of their max range and then reflect back at you. They won't do damage to you, unless, of course, they are tears that have the capability of doing damage to you. Come on, judgment. Give me a card or something. Oh my god, it's two demon judgments. I gotta play them at the same time. Here we go. Risk my life. Tear my life into pieces. This is my last resort. I don't think I should have uh, done that. I think that was a bad idea. I think that investing in those demon beggars was a very poor idea. Luckily, since we have penetrative shot, we take care of all of the little spiders and flies that Blue Baby spawns very, very handily. And also, they become a little bit of damaging bombs for us. Holy shit. Are we just... Oh... Of course not, because I tried to say it. I was about to say, are we just straight up not going to take damage this fight? And then immediately after saying that, we had to. But it's fine. Managed it pretty handily. I forgot that the uh, <clears throat> the fight there is pretty easy. Golden God, you are the best. Thank you very much for saying so, game. Look at that pretty little pictograph there on our save file. Let's get back to the title screen so that I can say that my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. The goal of the run was to kill Loki, but unfortunately he didn't spawn. Fuck. Alright, so we're going to have to do it with a bunch of other characters and see if we can get progress while finding Loki so we can finish up that 11th challenge. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding of Isaac Rebirth content. And hopefully we'll see you next time.